friends i hope you are fine okay today uh, our topic is mutual exclusive outcomes okay here before i start this topic uh, i show you the video related to this topic understand mutually exclusive events with another example let us consider one throw of a fair dice these are the six possible outcomes at one throw you have to get one of these let us consider two events a and b and understand if they are mutually exclusive or not event a is getting an even number and event b is getting an odd number remember we have to consider just one throw assume we get a 2 at the first throw it is even and not odd at the second throw we get a 5 so it is odd and not even this means that if we get an odd number we know that it is not even and if we get an even number it cannot be odd these two events cannot occur together and are hence mutually exclusive events now let's look at another case say event a is getting an odd number and event b is getting a number less than 4 are these events mutually exclusive let's see if we get a 1 then we can see that it's an odd number as well as a number less than 4 it's the same if we get a 3 these two events can happen together which tells us that they are not mutually exclusive many get confused between independent and mutually exclusive okay now class all of you understand if anything is same like he's talk uh, she was talking about odd number and less than 4 means one is the odd number and it's less than 4 so anything is common here so that is not exclusive if like even number here and here is odd number so both are different so odd number is 1 and even number is 2 odd number is 3 and even number is 4 like as it is like that so they are different with each other so they are also mutual uh, they are uh, mutual exclusive now let's start our topic so here is my topic now mutual exclusive now first we will study question number 1 aidin has these coins in his pocket he take out here uh, one coin at a random here are four possible outcomes he take 10 uh, he take out a uh, 10 cents means how many 10 cents so these are all the possibilities then b take out 20 cent or less maybe 10 or 20 c take only 20 cent and d take 50 or more cents so what is the probability of e now probability of e is he's just talking about 10 cent 10 cents mean how many coins 10 cent coins we have four in how many total number of coins there are 10 so we say four out of 10 that is equal to 2 by 5 as it is b b is at uh, 20 or less means here are 20 there are 3 20 and less is 10 so 3 and 4 7 so 7 and total is 10 so 7 out of 10 so here we said that it's a 7 out of 10 now outcome c he takes out 20 cents there are only 3 20 cents so total is 10 cents so we said we write here 3 out of 10 now the outcome of d there are 50 or more there is 250 cents and one is 1 dollar so there are three coin so we also write 3 by 10 now b part which of these are mutually exclusive mean a, a and b either they are mutually exclusive or not let's check now take out 10 cent take out 20 cent or less less mean 10 cent so one thing is common in both cases so we say no a and c 10 cent and here is 20 cent so they are different so we say yes these are mutually exclusive b and c 20 cent 20 cent or less means 10 cents so 20 and 20 is common so we also say no b and d 20 cent or less and 50 cent or more they are different they uh, in this case uh, he is talking about 20 or less and here he is talking about 50 and more so we say yes now a c and d a c and d they all are different means here is 10 cent 20 cent and 10 cent 50 or more so they are not match so we said that they are mutually exclusive because they all are different so here yes yes no yes no okay now 
as it is same these are these are all are alike questions okay these are the same question so let here is the answer of this question so you can write this answer and you understand inshallah all this now let's talk about question number six the last question of 16.3 now if you have a dice that has 20 sides so his faces has 1 to 20 so what is the probability that the outcome is a single digit so how many single digit does this dice have so only in one to nine so we are writing here nine and out of 20. b part find the outcome that is mutually exclusive to the outcome in the part of a but it is the same it has the same probability means he's talking about part a this is one possible answer that is 12 or more there are many others okay so we said that the probability should be 12 or more so here are three different outcomes multiple of a if you you know they uh, this dice have 20 sides so if you are talking about multiple of three so how many digit will come in multiple of three tables like three one time three six nine and 12 15 and 18 means six outcomes will come so total sides are 20 so we are uh, said that the probability should be 6 by 20 or 3 by 10 so that is 30 percent multiple of 5 means out of 20 5 10 15 and 20 means four possibilities out of 20 so that is equal to 2 by 10 as well so 2 by 10 is equal to 20 percent and multiple of 7 7 once times 7 7 2 times 14 so 14 by 20 that is equal to 1 by 7 1 by 10 so we said that that it is a 10 percent as you can see here 30 percent 20 percent and 10 percent now the second part which of these three outcomes are mutually exclusive so we said t and s why t and s t is the multiple of three and s is the multiple of seven there is in three table and in seven table in between 1 to 20 there is no number no digit that is match next is 5 f and s why because in 5 table and 7 table there is nothing match but multiple of 3 table and multiple of 5 table is match so it is not exclusive because 3 multiplied by 5 equal to 15 so 5 table also have 15 3 table also have 15 so thank you so much class i hope you understand goodbye